Today we are going to start off by taking a look at a couple of images. This is the first image, and this is the second image. As you could probably tell, the first image looks quite a bit better than the second one, and that's because the first image has a way higher collar depth than the second one. But what exactly is collar depth, and why does it have such a big impact on the quality of an image? A digital image consists out of thousands, if not millions, of tiny little squares, also known as pixels. Each one of those pixels has a certain colour. So the pixel right here might be light blue because it's part of a sky, and the pixel right here might be some shade of green because it's part of the grass. An image like this one is saved into a file by a computer simply by saving the colour of every pixel. So if you have a 1 million pixel image, the file will simply contain 1 million values, each one of which specifies the colour of a pixel in the image. But how does a computer convert a certain colour, some specific shade of blue for example, into a number that can be saved in a file? To do this, computers use a so-called RGB system, or red-green-blue system. Red, green and blue are the three primary colours of light. Using these three colours, you can create any colour you want. So by turning on red, green and blue at maximum brightness, you get white. But by turning on only green and blue, you can get cyan, or very light blue. You get the point. By varying the amount of red, green and blue, you can create all kinds of colours. Now a computer sees every colour as a certain amount of red, a certain amount of green, and a certain amount of blue. So this right here, this is orange, the computer doesn't see this as one colour. The computer sees this as X amount of red, Y amount of green, and Z amount of blue. I don't know what the exact values are, but it sees this colour as three values, red, green, and blue and these values are then stored in the file. But now we still don't know how these values are encoded. Well, a computer obviously uses binary. It uses zeros and ones, also known as bits, to encode information. So how does it use bits to encode colours? Well, it's actually very straightforward. Let's say we give the computer two bits of information to encode every channel. So two bits for red, 2 bits for green, and 2 bits for blue. Using 2 bits, there are 4 possible combinations you can make, as you can see on the screen right now. This means there are going to be 4 different brightness levels of red, 4 different brightness levels of green, and 4 different brightness levels of blue. This means the overall amount of colours that we can create using this RGB system will be 4 times 4 times 4 equals 64. If we were to assign 8 bits of information per channel, using 8 bits we can create 256 different combinations, which means there are now 256 brightness levels of red, green and blue, which equals 16 million possible colours in total. You get the point. By adding more bits of information per channel, we can create more colours and therefore a more accurate image. What we've just been able to observe is a difference in color depth. Color depth refers to the amount of bits that is used to define the brightness of the RGB channels. In the first example, we had a 2-bit color depth, and in the second example, we used an 8-bit per channel color depth. Also, as you've been able to see, color depth is an exponential thing. Using four times as many bits doesn't mean you get four times as many colours. In fact, we got way more than that. This is why a slight difference in colour depth can make a huge difference in the visual quality. Well anyway, now you know exactly what colour depth is and why it has such a big impact on the quality of an image. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.